I was born in Myanmar and I was educated in Myanmar as a medical doctor. And as you may all aware that uh, Burma has been under the successive military regime since 1962. And when during 1988, when the student uh, uprising and the pro-democracy movement, uh, thousands of students and the civilian and the health workers civilian fled to the Thailand Myanmar border. Uh, we initiate a medical center just across the border in Thailand. So initially our referral a medical center starts setting up as a referral center when the people get wounded by landmine or war casualty and malaria. Also, we establish a, a education and child protection program in 1995 because we have seen that many migrant people who displaced uh, don't have legal documents and the children who were born in Thailand also could not access to birth registration during those times. Starting from 2008, uh, the Thai government approved uh, to issue uh, the birth official birth certificate who children the children who were born in Thailand. So the stateless, but uh, this is not solving the problem of the stateless because since these children are not, uh, even they were born in Thailand and they have a register, they, the parents themselves also doesn't have uh, permits or Thai citizen. So they have the certificate or identity, but they are stay become a stateless, uh, whether in Thailand or Myanmar. Since the border, both Thailand and Myanmar government locked down the border strictly. So our patients who are living in Myanmar site can no longer access to our health services. So our health services number, the, the beneficiary number uh, reduced about 30% from 2019 to 2020. Among those, there are um, children, women who require like ongoing vaccination, antenatal care. So our antenatal care service, we have women can attend less number of antenatal visits. During the crisis, there are many migrant workers, they lost their job. So more than 100,000 people, they crossing the border through Mesha, our city, the city where we live. So they back to their village, origin village. In February 1st, um, the military coup in Burma has been taking all this um, important work that has been done by the community, actively by both health worker and uh, in Burma and also in the communities. All the COVID uh, testing and vaccination and reporting system has been stopped for almost stopped because we can see very few cases being reported now. Before that, uh, all the uh, state and region they regularly report, and our health workers from Myanmar side, doctor nurses, they they work very hard to protect the family and the nation. But currently, the health worker, teacher, 
uh, and many uh, civil society group and the young, especially young people, they actively participate in the uh, CDM movement. We are in crisis in both public health and also other the political and economic um, people being lost a job and people also be very insecure during those times. So this opportunity for me to address or to update the situation in our country as well as the border area.